to the uh, first part of your sixteenth is fine. It's number four, right? Three. Number three. Uh huh. But this part when it's three four. So this is specifically created <clears throat> to train your evenness between three and four, which are not good fingers. Like combination three four is not good. Four five is not good. So. Ascending or descending? Uh, it's a descending probably more than ascending. Oh. Yeah, and try, try to sync on nice also. Right and left hand. Yeah, it was better managed than management right now. So, uh, <clears throat> whenever you see problems like this, so uh, it would be first recommendation to play with accents on those weak fingers, because yeah, because they are weaker. So you have to put more burden on them and put more emphasis and make them work and be flexible and independent. And the other um, exercise, kind of pre preliminary before you play, I would recommend to stretch your fingers. Uh, actually, um, you can stretch before. Did you talk about this finger and stretching like this? So practically, um, if you look at my finger, you have to put on the bed of this keys finger completely and then make angle, straight angle between this part and this part. But keep the whole finger. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and now stretch, try to make yes. Uh-huh. And then the next one, finger free, but try to lay it down completely on the key and then yeah again try to get this straight angle the same the next finger yeah do you feel how you stretch it it's like a little bit like split in gymnastics right so you do <laughs> warm-up exercises okay could you show me your pinky in your right hand or left hand. Now finger one will be different. Finger one is will be like you place like this and you make angle here. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. And push down your finger. Okay. Okay. So what do you feel right now? Do you feel it's more flexible a little bit? It's kind of Well, it's uh, because you stretch something what you do not use to stretch, so you did not use to stretch, right? So it should be not painful, it should be just a little bit more uh, kind of achy because you really uh, start working with your muscles, very tiny muscles on your fingers and your wrist. So my point is whenever you play music, actually any music, and you feel your fingers are not flexible, they are stiff. All of a sudden you just stop and do the same exercise like this. <clears throat> so let's say this is your finger, uh, this is your exercise, right? So do the same. Play this exercise. Just always remember you have to place your fingers completely on white keys, okay? So it might be in area of between black notes. Um, hold, do you see it? Let's say, can you see it? Uh, hold on. Can you see it? So you see, if it's long finger, it's already will be ended up here because you need to be sure the end of the finger is on the end of the key. So it uh, won't be dangerous to do anything. 
So if you do like this and try to stretch, it's not so secure. If you look at my finger, you see? It's not secure like this. You have to really place it. And it actually stretches much better. If you place exactly the beginning of your finger on the, yes, completely on the white key. But then, when you have music with black notes, it's the same idea. You can use the same exercise for black notes. It will be a little bit more awkward. You see, you cannot lay down this completely, but still it's possible. Yeah, just move a little bit ahead. Place on the black key. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have to press the white key it, Yes, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And P and K, yes, the same idea. Mm -hmm. Especially for left hand, it's a good exercise because left hand is more stiff usually, including white. So whenever you have, you feel like your fingers are uh, moving without your control the way you would like to control. Is your notes are too fast and unequal, whether it's 16th or 18th. So just immediately start playing with this exercise and you will see a dramatic um, improvement in control of your fingers. <laughs> 